Hi friends, it's Miss Yasmina. And today I learned how to make connected cutouts. And you know what? It was kind of easy. I thought it was going to be hard, but this was the first one that I made. And I really liked it. So this is how you begin. You take a piece of paper. It could be notebook paper. It could even be newspaper. Remember, we can use garbage to make our art. So you fold your paper in half. The way that you know that it's right in half is that you connect the two points. See that? Sorry, let me show you a little bit closer. See that? The two papers are connected right there and on this side. Right, middle to middle. Ask your mommy or daddy to help you if you can't find the middle the first time. They'll show you. You open the paper and now you have this line marked right in the front. Sorry, right in the middle. And you take one side and you fold it over to that middle line. There it is. There's the top, straight, straight, straight down. You don't wanna do it crooked. You don't wanna do it like that where it doesn't touch the middle. Cutouts, you need to be very exact. So you go a little bit slow. You fold it in and then you take the other side and they touch in the middle like this. So you have two opening sides. Let's do that again. You take a piece of paper, you connect the two ends together like this. You make sure that both points are touching. You can even lay it down and fold it in the middle. So when you open it, you have a nice clear middle there. Then you take one side, one side here, and it touches the line in the middle. You call that lining it up means that it's all the way straight. And you press it where it folds. Press, press. Do it to the other side. Make sure that it's not crooked. Make sure it's not sticking out like that. You want it to be nice and straight. And you press it down so it opens like this. But now comes the fun part. If you look, your paper is shaped like this. What we want is a zigzag. So that means this point goes down and then this one that folds like this in the, the middle one, we're gonna turn it the other way. We're gonna fold it the other way. So now your paper is shaped like this. Let's do it again. You have these two doors that open and the middle one folds in like that. So it's like almost like this, but we don't want that. We want the middle part we want to fold it back like that so that you can have an M. Before you cut anything, look for the M. See that? There's my letter M. Make sure you have it. So if you want to make your drawing super big, Leave your paper like this. I 
like to cut it in half so that I have 1M and another M. So I can make two things. When you make your cutouts, you can make any shape you want. The only thing, the only rule is that your cutouts have to touch on the ends. This is what I mean. When I cut mine, this, this started like this. You notice that my cutout goes all the way to the edge, like that. Here and here. Like that. So what I'm trying to say, boys and girls, is that you have to make sure that your cutout goes all the way to the end. Let me give you an example. I'm going to draw, let's see, maybe a girl's hair, her head, her neck, her shoulders, her arms, and then her hand right here. Do you see how I went all the way to the end of the paper? Now here's the other side of her hair, her head, her neck, shoulder, arm, arm, hand, all the way to the edge. Again on this side, this could be her hand under her arm, her chest, and her dress all the way to the end. I do it on this side. Her hand, her arm, her chest, her dress all the way to the end. Then here, Maybe I'll give her some cute shoes. And now I have to follow this line all the way to the end. These ends right here is what's going to keep your dolls together. See that? See where it's connected? That's where I went on the end without cutting and separating these. Let me show you. I am going to start cutting the lines that I drew. You know when you cut boys and girls, the paper moves, but your scissor stays pretty much in one place. You might move the scissor a little bit, but mostly you are moving the paper. All right, and then the other side. This is a little tricky on the inside. Remember, the more details you have, the more cutting you have to do. That's how you can get really fancy. But you can start with simple shapes in the beginning. Okay, so I'm ready to open her up. And these parts where it went to the ends here and here, is how they're going to stay together. Look at that, boys and girls. All my little girls. And I can give them each 
some faces and maybe I'll make her hair curly. Maybe I'll make this one mean. She's the mean girl. She puts like, hmm, and she's got hair like this. And maybe this one's scared. Who knows? Maybe she's in quarantine. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Tell me what other emotion. <gasps> how about, how about shocked? <gasps> Look at that. Whoa. And you can give this one maybe a V-neck collar and short sleeves and a fluffy dress. You can give this one that's a little scared, you can give her a big sweater. And maybe polka dot skirt. And this mean one, she's wearing a tank top. That's right, she's wearing her big muscle shirt with a big dress and big boots. You can get creative. And then you can even use a little bit of tape and keep going. You could just connect them and you could have a hundred of these. How cool is that? Let's make, let's see. How about a boy? So the boys know that they can do this too. Maybe the boy is wearing a hat. Sideways. And his neck, his shoulders, his arm, his elbow, and his hand. This is the end, remember, very important. Maybe on this side, it's going down, and time to connect it, time to do the end. Here's another end. And the sides, the elbow, another end. And um, he's going to be wearing shorts, but I have to make sure that down here somewhere it still connects. How can I do that? Well, maybe if I make it connect in only one place and I'm super careful, I can just connect at the hands. I'll do that. So he's wearing shorts and here are his legs, his feet. Wait, here's his baseball cap. He's wearing it sideways. He's like, hey. Maybe I'll give him like a t-shirt. Ready now? We only have one end in this one. With the girls, they connected in two places because the dress was easy to connect them. But here, we only have one place. Cut it. Cut, cut, cut.
Remember, the more details you have, the more you have to cut. So if you are not a very good cutter, we'll start with a simple shape. Okay, here's my boy. Ready? I hope the hands are holding together. Oh yeah, that looks really good. What do you think? Maybe this guy, his hat is facing this way. And he's like, you can trace it a little bit so it looks nice. You can trace it on the sides. And he's wearing a round collar shirt. See, I'm just outlining the bottom part and drawing things like his shoes. And this guy's like, I love the New York Mets. I'm a Mets fan, M-E-T-S. That's his team, he likes baseball. And this guy, He's like, oh, no, no, no. I love the Yankees. Are you, any of you guys, do you guys like sports? I mean, not just guys like sports. Lots and lots of girls like sports. He's like, no, nah, man, I'm from the Yankees. That's my team. I even wear Yankee shoes. Is that true? Do people wear Yankee shoes? I don't know. I'm making that up. Miss Yasmina does not know a lot about sports. But I like art. All right. And he's wearing striped shirt. And the last guy. He's like, no, you know what the best thing in the world is. I love monster trucks. That's right. Those big trucks with huge wheels. And they are so fun. So he likes trucks. And he's next to his friend who likes the Yankees. And again, you can just keep decorating it. You know what's even cool? If you made one that was kicking a ball, maybe you could just have a ball where it connects. That's kind of cool. All right, so these are the cutouts. Send me a picture of a cutout that you did. Remember, you can even do a cutout with paper that was supposed to be garbage. Like, do you see how this paper is garbage? Well, it came from trees. And you could even make a cool tree out of this. Remember, you have to have the M. If your paper does not have an M, it's not going to work. So that's the first thing you do. Do you have an M? And then real quick, super, super quick, let's see if Miss Yasmina can do it. I'm gonna make a tree out of paper from a tree and that way we can turn garbage into art so look it connects here it connects here it connects here and here I know it's a little hard to see but once I cut it you'll see how you can make a tree out of garbage 
And I'm doing it super, super fast because if you wanted to, you could even do branches. You could make a fancy tree. Ready? Here's my tree or my trees. How cool is that? All right. I love you. I miss you. And show me some cutouts. Bye. Send me photos.